sometimes, whether it be by preference or by the circumstances you find yourself in, you may or may not have access to equipment. And in those cases, what is your decision? Are you going to give up on your workout entirely? Or are you going to find a way to get the job done given the situation you find yourself in? Well, today, I wanted to go to one of the requests that you guys have been making, a shoulder workout, body weight only, that showed you how you can overload, how you can create change in your body by doing the right kinds of body weight exercises to substitute for the things that we more typically do in the gym. So, with that being said, let's break it down exercise by exercise. You'll see what you classically do. You'll see what you can be doing if you find yourself in a situation where you just don't have the equipment with you. All right, so let's kick this workout off with our compound move, our dumbbell or barbell shoulder press. Guys, you know it doesn't matter what type of equipment you're using here. The focus of this exercise is to push that weight, push some heavy weight, and start building those shoulders up. But if you don't have access to either one, are you left with nothing? Absolutely not. Guys, you know we have other options. Here you can see me doing a handstand push-up against the wall. Even if you're big and strong, I can tell you, this exercise becomes really challenging really quickly, especially the heavier your body weight is at the moment. Right? You gotta push more, the more you weigh. But even if that's not a challenge for you, you can add in our wall walk push-up variation where you're gonna do a wall walk out all the way to a flat plank position then walk yourself back up and you can see with every push of my hand I'm using more and more of my shoulders to get back into the position just to have to do push-ups again so we can definitely overload this exercise and get you working right off the bat in this workout next up one of the most classic exercises that you can do for your shoulders a dumbbell side lateral raise of course this is the one that targets the medial head this is the one that we all know and have relied on for years, but does that mean that there's no equivalent here either? No, there is actually. I've shown this before. We feature in our Athlean Zero program the bodyweight side lateral. And the key here, as you watch me doing this move, is the relative motion. Remember, relative motion means that as long as the motion that's occurring at the joint is the same, we're good. And you can see that, yeah, with a typical side lateral raise, my trunk is staying fixed, and my arm is traveling away from my body. But in a bodyweight side lateral raise, we fix our arm and we let our body rotate away, but the end result is that our shoulder is in that abducted position. So we're getting a loaded abduction here for our shoulders that will help us to still target this medial head even when we just don't even have equipment at our disposal. All right, now let's work our way around to the back. We've got the rear delts to worry about. And again, classically, the dumbbell rear delt raise. We do this all the time when we're trying to get and target that back side of the shoulders. But again, we've got an option, guys. Again, in Athlean Zero, the reverse iron cross push-up. This is a very intense way to create an overload. Again, just try the exercise, and I promise you're going to feel a contraction you probably haven't even felt from doing the dumbbells. A lot of times, guys will rely on the dumbbells to try to heave the weights up and not get a good enough contraction in the posterior delt. Try this, and I'll tell you, you're going to see the difference and feel it right off the bat, very first rep. Next, it's time to get a little bit more functional. As a trainer for professional athletes, guys, you've got to be able to also recreate a little bit more functional carryover into the things that we do. So we can become more explosive, but we can do it in a way that's going to translate to what we do. So with our shoulder tap presses, you may have tried these before. Some people like to use a dumbbell. Some like to use a kettlebell. Some could use a uh, landmine set up in the corner. The essence of it is that you're pressing shoulder to shoulder, okay, as you see me doing here. And what's great about this is there is a high functional carryover to sports. Whether I'm an offensive lineman that finds myself down here and I have to you know, press in a different direction, I can't always direct my force straight ahead. Okay? We know that the other guy on the other side of you is going to move, so we have to adapt to that. An MMA fighter is going to grab somebody and have to you know, control them from, from above. We also have uh, any basketball players having to go up for rebounds. We need to have the strength to go in asymmetrical directions. That's a great way to do it with a shoulder tap. But again, if we don't have the equipment, does that mean that we're screwed? Not at all. We've got pike circles. So we can take our body weight, position ourselves in a pike position, as you see me here, come down to the ground, lower myself to one side. So I'm overloading, let's say, the right arm. I'm sliding around, sliding that weight across to overload the left arm, and then pushing back off there back up to the top and I can work these circles in both a clockwise and a counterclockwise direction so that the loading arm on the descent is changing if we keep going back and forth. 
So what I would do here is just do say if we're doing whatever your failure reps are, divide half of them to the uh, clockwise and half of them in the counterclockwise direction. And finally, for those that sometimes think that bodyweight training can be an inferior way to train compared to weighted training, we've got certain issues that actually are able to be more easily addressed with bodyweight exercises than they might be able to with weights. You guys saw a video I hope that I did the other day on a spontaneous eccentric or what it was and how we could apply it to our shoulder training with a dumbbell side lateral raise. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up right over here because it is definitely worth the watch. But that being said, some would feel that maybe even that is a little bit too risky for them. I called it an advanced shoulder exercise for a reason. But maybe body weight allows us to actually do the spontaneous eccentric concept and do it in a, in a more controlled, safe manner. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you here. We're able to do this in a much more secure way because we're controlling our own body weight here. And we get the explosivity we're looking for in the exercise. And we're getting that spontaneous eccentric contraction that we're looking for every single time that my hands hit the floor here. And then, of course, I've got to reverse direction and get myself back up. You can start the way I'm showing you here just by leaning forward with one arm, hitting the ground, kicking the leg up, going to a handstand kick out, and then from there getting back up. I tell you, it doesn't matter which leg you kick up in the air. The bottom line is it's the, it's the overload you're creating on the shoulder, and this is a great way to really push yourself even when you have not a single piece of equipment at your disposal. So there you go, guys, a complete shoulder workout, whether or not you have equipment or if you don't. As a matter of fact, sometimes you're going to find that your hand will be forced. Whether you're traveling or you're just in a location that doesn't have the equipment that you need to get a great workout, you really have no excuses anymore because you do have an option and you can start doing these workouts right away and start overloading and causing the overload you need to build muscle. That being said, if you're looking for a complete program, guys, you know as a coach my job is to make sure I have you covered regardless what circumstances you find yourself in. Now, if you have equipment or if you have access to a gym or if you want to train at home with limited equipment, you can do that with the Athenex training system. It's just a pull-up bar, a band, and some dumbbells and you're good to go. But for the guys that prefer to work out with body weight or just don't have the space or the ability to get any equipment, guys, I've got you covered here as well. Athlean Zero, we like to say no bars, no bands, no bench. No bull, literally 100%, body weight only, no equipment at all. So, guys, pick your program, get yourself started. The big thing is start training like an athlete so you can start looking like one. You can do that at athletenext.com. In the meantime, guys, if you found this helpful, make sure you leave a thumbs up and some comments below. Whatever else it is that you guys like to see, that's what I bring here. You were the ones asking for this, now you got it. Leave your other suggestions, I'll make sure I get to them too. All right, guys, thanks a lot.